Yay! Hey Pixies! Welcome back to our channel! Today's video. <laughs> Today's video is a, what is it? It's a uni advice Q&A, but like Type you guys thing. haven't asked the questions Phoebe has. Um, I have been to university for one year now. I passed, don't worry. <laughs> We're going again. Round two, people. Round, round, two. round ah. Right. Um, and Phoebe, who has had a lovely gap year. Yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, let, let us know if you want to know about the gap year. <laughs> let us know. Yeah, let us know if you want to know about her gap year. But yeah, she's going to uni in September and she has a few questions for me that might be useful for you guys as well. Um, so yeah. I have four questions to be precise. Yes, I don't know what the questions are, so this is going to be on the top thinking. That's not the phrase. <laughs> thinking on your feet. What? Thinking on my feet on the top thing. <laughs> first question. What do you regret about first year and would Ooh. you change anything? She knows I'm a re regretful person. This is going to yeah. take a while. Can I just, can we just say, to reference why I know she's a regretful person, we filmed a video the other day and in the same day she already regretted it. So that's <laughs> how much I know she regrets. Yeah, things. I regret a lot. Okay. I would do my entire year differently, honestly. Okay. I regret not being more open during my lectures, well, seminars, because you don't really talk in lectures, during my seminars. You shut up in lectures. You shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was more open in my se seminars because I didn't really know my course mates that well. I kind of knew them. Do you know what's funny about this is that do you ever just like revert to a certain type of person that you were? Like I felt like I went back to like the nerdy kid at school who didn't really talk much and was like, I don't know, I was like that sort of person. And like I wish I had opened my shell a bit more and talked more and just like if I knew the answer just said it and just like been more open um, and tried to get to know my course mates more. Um, I did get to know two of them. You know who you are? Lovely. Shout them out. Hannah and Casper, wonderful people, wonderful people. Fun. Um, but I wish I'd just been more open in that sense. Um, freshers, I wish I'd saved up for freshers. I don't know if this coincides with any other question, but I'm just gonna say it. Mm. Save up for freshers. I cannot explain that more because for me, the first night, like moving in the first night was before my loan had come in. So, it was very, difficult because obviously well you don't have to obviously but like I did want to go out the first night because everyone in my flat was going out and we were getting ready and it was all like yeah let's go out um but I didn't ha I didn't save any money because I thought oh I'll get my loan obviously but then mm. it didn't come in time so I was like oh so I was a bit of, in a bit of a pickle for the first day and like the first few days um so I really wish I'd saved some money, not just for freshers, but just for the first few weeks, I guess, just to get me on, like, get me Go comfortable. Ahead. Because the first few weeks, well, first few months really, but the first few weeks, you're not really used to budgeting as well as you are in the second semester. So, like, you're not really looking for the deals. You're not really, like, especially me, like, my nearest shop was Morrison's. Mm. And then there was a Sainsbury's, but that was a bit far out and like do your whole shop and like walk how long that would yeah. So I just, I wish I had like saved more money so that for the first few weeks while I didn't really know what I was doing, I could be alright. Yeah. And that coincides with budgeting. I wish I'd budgeted more. She knows my struggles. Oh, she knows my struggles. Um, I had many a panic attack because of money. Money is just dangerous. I yeah. Think. Money can just do a lot to your mental health. So just make sure that money isn't your main focus. Make sure you're right. Get a job if you can, but don't like, if you can't, know that you can't. Um, and just try and budget the money you actually have. Because mm -hmm. if you know that you can't, don't blow your money, basically. Yeah. And then she got like three other questions. I have one more then. Okay. I wish I had been myself from the get-go because okay. when I met like the people that I met during Freshers which a lot of them I'm still friends with now I live with most of them so when I first met them I had this kind of persona because you know when you first meet people you have this version of yourself that's not your like usual because you know self. yeah like, when you're yeah. your full self you can get weird you can yeah. like say weird things that are like why do you say that it's like 
Yeah. Yeah, like the whole like, when I get upset, my that accent come cool. back. <laughs> um, yeah, stuff like that. Like, you don't really say that from the get go because you have this like shell. Mm -hmm. And I had that shell for too long, I think. Oh. So it's, it's all right to have that like, because I feel like you kind of have this like script for when you go to uni. It's like, hi, what course are you doing? Where are you from? Da, da, da. It's all those things that you want to know. Mm -hmm. um, but I kind of stayed that person for too long and then. I felt like it was too late to just be, be me. Yeah. yeah. So I'd say be yourself from the get go because there's just so many people to me and like it's just not worth keeping that up for everyone. So yeah. just just yeah, just be yourself and the people who will actually like it, you'll know that they're for you. But since I wasn't myself, it's hard to figure out who's like, like your for people. you, yeah. Yeah. I'll stop there. Whoa, there's she, more she regrets. But a I'll lot, stop there. Man. <laughs> yeah. Question two yes. what is your top tip for someone like me who's going into first year slash freshers Fresh. okay well the first tip i would say is go to the freshers fair go okay. to the freshers fair because i didn't actually go to the freshers fair um <laughs> i was a bit worse for wear and i didn't go to the freshers fair also i didn't really have anyone to go with because i was so like shy i didn't want to be like hi let's go to the freshers fair yeah obviously you should do that just yeah but like um, I didn't go and I missed out on so much. I heard that they give out free pizza. They give out Domino's like vouchers and mm. stuff. That is um, They give out loads and loads of coupons for like shops and like supermarkets and yeah. all of that. Um, they all about societies there and like I wish I'd learnt more about the societies because I want to join a society especially this year. Um, and like yeah just go to the freshers fair or if there's like a freshers event like I know there was a freshers barbecue and to be fair I did try to go to that that's how I met Yay. the people that I know I remember yeah I tried to go but the bus never arrived and we just ended up going to Spoons but anyway if there's like events go to all the events in the daytime and like I'd say because obviously it's nice to like go out if you're that sort of person obviously if you're not that sort of person you don't have to but like I honestly yeah. think even, no matter what sort of person you are, make sure you go to most of the day events Yeah. because that's where you meet most of the people and that's how you meet people like genuinely if that makes sense because like if you're going out, you're meeting everyone, you're all just a bit like hey like yeah, like that whereas in the daytime it's like you. Like more having a conversation. Yeah, you're like actually getting to know people. So like if you're like me, so I'll, I will go out but it's not really like your priority, my favorite like, thing to do yeah yeah what so, would you say is like for me like your top tip what should I, so i get into my uni halls yeah mm -hmm. my parents leave mm -hmm. i think what the hell have i done <laughs> that's what i thought i start thinking how do i get out of this <laughs> yeah that's exactly what i thought no but that's probably gonna happen um <laughs> what what is your like what is my first port of call like what go, do i do go to wherever the common area is if there's a living so room like or kitchen the, yeah, or whatever ki yeah go there just literally so don't even unpack my room <laughs> well it depends unpack a little bit feel the area because for me i was the last person to move in mm -hmm. and i moved in at literally like six like because p.m yeah p.m oh. because obviously i had to drive like four and a half hours yeah and then we got lost and then um, I had to get groceries mm. so by the time I was actually in moving like unpacking my room and putting yeah. food away it was like six o'clock people had already had a chat people already like decided where we were going people were getting ready yeah so I was like I'd unpack my room I come downstairs I came downstairs and pe there was like two people there and I was like oh okay what's happening and they were like I think we're going out so it was all just very like did your parents go very like really quickly no not that quickly we um like made my bed and like that's when I told you my sister moved the cupboard out so like do you remember it was actually in the wardrobe oh. at first and she moved it out and everyone was like I didn't know I could do that yeah um but yeah like we did a few things in the actual room like they mm -hmm. helped me with that sort of stuff but after the groceries were done they put the groceries where they did kind of just leave them mm -hmm. um and I didn't actually unpack until like the third night because I didn't have time. Yeah. But I'd say feel the area. Like if if everyone is unpacking, go ahead and unpack. Unpack. But if you can hear that people are like talking and chatting, just go in and join in. Yeah. Because the worst possible thing is missing that first 
mm. like the opportunity because first impressions are everything and I feel like my first impression was probably like why is she not down here like this is weird like why yeah. is she not here um, whereas I was just trying to unpack do you know what I mean yeah. so I'd say just make yourself present make sure you're like there mm -hmm. and like trying to meet try and chat and meet people but obviously it depends on the situation because if there's like if say because I don't know you've got like seven people in your flat say if like two only two of them are there and they're just unpacking yeah that's fine yeah but if they're all there and they're all like chilling or maybe like five are there and they're chilling just go join yeah them, i'd say okay yeah make nachos as well get everyone to warm up to that me. is something i heard is to have <laughs> like offerings oh my god i'm gonna take so much offerings. yeah so if you bring like cupcakes and you're like hey guys and that's like a good yeah way shall, to start. I, shall i make cupcakes which spell out my name <laughs> so Question number three is, oh. if you were me, what would be the first thing you would do when starting uni this September thing? So what's the scenario though? So like, okay, I'm driving to Leicester, I'm thinking, right. what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. I'm going to Leicester by the way. <laughs> what am I going to do when I first get there? You're, when you first get there? Yeah, so like, would you make going and getting groceries a priority or would oh. you make going straight to the... Um, halls and unpacking a priority or would you make going out straight away or like what like what would your first priority for me be for you I reckon the first priority would be to be depending on who's there mm -hmm. because you could be like one of the first people to move in but if you're not making sure that you've said hello to everyone okay even if they are unpacking they're busy make sure you introduce yourself to everyone first yeah like, first thing like Hi, I'm, like, the minute you walk in, find out Hi, where the rooms are and just... I'm Phoebe, nice to meet you. Yeah, obviously, you don't have to, as you're moving your stuff in, like, oh, no, I'm Phoebe. But, yeah. like, move your stuff in, obviously, but, like, as soon as your stuff is all in your room... Yeah. And you've done, done doing the loads. So just making myself, like, no. No, like, hi, I'm here and I'm ready to, like... Mingle. Be friendly, yeah. yeah. Because I say, I think if you go straight into unpacking it's almost like it shuts you a bit yeah okay it shuts you out a bit so i'd say even if it means knocking on someone's door and being like oh hello just thought i'd introduce myself just say hello to everyone okay and keep your door door open okay that's one thing i did do hey question i've got two questions there. yay i'm okay. loving this right so the second from last question is do you think this is for like the people who are my age watching who might be going into their first year or older than me who are going into first year. Mm -hmm. Do you think that being older and starting uni later is putting you at a disadvantage? Like, is it something that you would notice? Like, would you say you were in a flat with someone and they were 19 and you were 18, so it's like going back to your first year. Mm -hmm. Do you think you would have noticed? And like, do you think for me, people are going to be like, oh my god, she's 19? Like, no. Yeah. No? Not at all. Not even a little okay. bit. Literally, no. Because like, well, you guys don't know, a girl who wasn't my flatmate but was like, ended up being in like the group I hang, hung out with, Comal. She is um, older and I didn't even know for a while, like a while. I didn't know this. Do you know what I mean? Like, this isn't something, unless you ask or like, you, you tell them straight away, it's yeah. not something people know and even when they find out it's like, oh okay, like, yeah that's fine. Because you're going to be like, she's 43. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> It's so normal, like yeah. you'd actually be surprised how normal it is. Like, there was times where I'd go into my lectures or I'd like go onto the campus, and you're just walking past like fully like forty year olds, mm -hmm. thirty year olds, like people your age. Like it's just it's so. At first, it's a bit like whoa, this isn't like normal school. It's mm -hmm. like more internally. It's not like oh, then older than me, but it's more for yourself. It's like oh wow, like this is really like the world because it's not like everyone is in yeah something <laughs> yeah so it is weird for you but like no one notices that stuff at all especially if it's only a year older okay so basically she's saying even if you are older just go anyway yeah just go it's fine my last question is this is a very broad question okay interesting how do you mm -hmm. make friends you're asking me that's the one uh, i feel question. like this video is kind of more to do with like the fresher element of uni we can yeah. do another one where it's like actual uni yeah based if you wanted because that'd be quite interesting because i have a lot more questions about actual mm -hmm. we can make this a series if you want part one yeah and now yeah yeah how do you make how friends you like make friends? is it a case because everyone every video i've watched oh that highlighter 
every video I've watched has been like, you just make so many friends. You meet so many people. Me Some of them you never even see again. Yeah. La, 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 la. And I'm just like, like, how do you make friends at uni? I just don't get it. Like, I just don't get how people are like, oh my God, I made so many friends. Like, how? Well, obviously I'm quite an physical person, so I'd be like, oh, I've made loads of friends. They would probably be like, yeah, we're friends. But like, I'm like, oh, I don't know. So yeah. that's a difficult question, but I think the main thing is to just do everything that uni offers. Do you know what I mean? That's the hard thing. You can't like just, especially in the first, like the, I'd say the first week of uni is a very defining moment. Mm -hmm. Obviously things can change. You can, you can meet people literally everywhere. Like I met most of my friends at a bus stop, so it's fine. But I'd say the first week is very important. Like you have to just go out, do things. Not, you don't have to go out, out, but like, go out and do things like whatever the uni offers say it's like something at the student union say it's something like oh this freshers dinner this freshers whatever this yeah. do you know whatever the, i don't know what less offers but whatever they offer go to it um if your flatmates are like oh do you want to do this do it like always just be very available this is the one time definitely like a few months in you start being like oh i'm tired cut me off but like two days ago, <laughs> I'm tired. I need a holiday. Yeah, that's the, that's why like you get freshers flu because it's like you're constantly doing things and meeting people. Like, I'm gonna try so hard. I'm gonna take like 15 vitamins. I'm gonna yeah. eat a banana every day. I will say it's okay. It's definitely like it's dependent on your experience. I would say if I didn't go out, yeah, out out, out out. Like if I didn't go on nights out, I would really struggle just because of the type of person i am though and you know yeah, this because yeah. at college this was just like the worst thing but it was so much easier because you'd go out and you'd have a good time with people because you'd have no inhibitions and then the next time you saw them you'd be like oh hi and then you could talk about the funny things that happened and it's like mm -hmm. it's easier that way but if you weren't going to go out i'd say honestly just do anything and everything even if it means like say like all the freshest things are over the first like three days just like go into the kitchen and be like guys what are we doing today like just do things okay. all the time like make sure you're constantly doing things because it's the memories that will get you the friends in the beginning mm -hmm. rather because the, the small talk will die out so fast yeah. so you're going to need things to do to keep you talking if that makes sense mm -hmm. so just do things so that was interesting to hear I didn't know I had this much knowledge. I thought, what the hell did I learn? Yeah, you have a lot of knowledge. See you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see another part to this video, like what to bring to uni, what not to bring to uni, like the more academic oh. side of uni questions type thing, yeah. what we're bringing to uni, like you going into second year, living in a house, yes. me going into first year, living in student accommodation. <laughs> Let us know and comment anything you want down below. <laughs> yeah, actually just talk to us, please. We like to chat. We will always reply. Uh, love you. Love you. Bye. That was a good video. That felt good. Yeah, that felt knowledgeable. Yeah, knowledgeable. <laughs>